Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another video. Today will be a short video basically showing you guys how to import data from your crypto wallets such as Ledger. So um, if you're interested, if this is helpful, um, stick around. It'll be a very quick and easy video. Okay, so I'll leave this article as well down below if you'd like. Um, you can import data from any hardware or software wallet to Coinly. If you didn't know that already, now you do. The only thing to keep in mind is that unlike crypto exchanges, a wallet does not have any API key, but there are still ways to automate the data import. So you can do that in one of two ways. You can create a blockchain wallet in Coinly for each of the coins that you hold on your hardware slash software wallet. Every coin operates on a separate blockchain. So if you have your coin coins public address slash key and Coinly obviously supports auto sync for that, then you will be able to enter this address key when setting up the wallet. So I will leave this article. It's a bit of a longer one learning how to find your public key. Um, it's a bit of a longer article, so I don't really want to cover in this video, but I will leave it in this video's description. And the second option, if your hardware slash software wallet allows you to export a CSV um, slash Excel file with your transaction, then you can simply import that file to Coinly. So I will also leave that article uh, down here. And I also made a video on this, so I will leave that video in the top right corner uh, if you're interested. And the last part here is the actual video showing you how to set up auto sync for Exodus. So I'm gonna do that in my own wallet. So we're gonna go to add wallet. Um, we're going to go to wallets and there it is Exodus. And then we're going to click auto set up auto sync, uh, connect blockchains. And I will do it for ETH and I will do it for Litecoin. So for ETH, just click this. Um, we can name it something like ledger ETH and then the public key can just be generic. This is just a demo. I don't, you know, have to, you, you know, you're gonna have your own public key that you're gonna import and you click import that that's it. Then we're going to go into Litecoin similar process we're gonna go and just type it type in here ledger um ltc right that's litecoin and then i mean here it really doesn't matter you can just put one two three four five this is just a demo and import and that's it that's how you import those wallets and there you have it pretty straightforward video if you have any questions leave them down below if you found this video helpful consider dropping a like subscribing for more crypto content and i'll see you next time peace